Welcome, Nick Wheeler, to the University of the West of England uh, here in Bristol. Um, you were a student in, in Bristol, we'll come to that in a minute. Uh, you run one of the uh, most successful shirt labels, um, fashion labels in the business, Tirrit Shirts. Charles, Charles Tirrit. Tirrit Shirts, yes. yeah. So um, what makes a great shirt? I think, I mean, a great shirt is, um, it's in the eye of the wearer. So everybody has a different view of what a great shirt is. But I think, ultimately, a great shirt makes you feel good. What we want to do is, uh, our stated aim in the business is to make it easy for men to dress well. And we want them, when they put on a, put on a Charles Tirrett shirt, to just feel really good about themselves. Because I think if you feel good about yourself, you get out into the big bad world and you do good things. That's my view. <laughs> um, so how many shirts do you think you've manufactured? Your business is how old? My business is, I mean, I, I look so young that you'd think my business is older than me, but I think it's 32 years old. I started it when I was, when I was at Bristol. And um, how many shirts have we manufactured? And we've probably manufactured about 50 million shirts, I should think. Wow. And can you spot one wherever you are? If you meet somebody, can you I go, can that's I can spot a... you're not wearing one. I'm not. You're absolutely right. You're not wearing right. one. Um, I, I, I'm getting worse at spotting them as I get older and more forgetful. But, but I used to be able to spot them from a mile off. Okay. Quite often in the early days, because the collars looked so terrible, that they, uh, I could spot them then. But now <laughs> that they all look absolutely perfect, it sort of get, gets harder. Mm. But you did spot that opportunity, didn't you, all those years back, when you were a student. And I understand you actually started the business in your student flat. Yeah, um, in your student right, in room. Clifton, yeah. uh, so ha why, how, what? I mean, you're studying geography. I think I always, I was studying geography. The great thing about geography is that it's, um, you know, it's not engineering and it's not medicine and it's basically not very many lectures a week. So you have a lot of spare time, or you certainly did in the 1980s. And um, I always wanted to have my own business. I, I knew that's what I wanted to do. And I just started lots of little businesses. I had a photography business and a Christmas tree business and a shoe business, and they were all complete disasters. And, uh, and then I thought, well, what can I do the shoe business fail? Well, what can I do next? And I thought, I'll do a shirt business. And off I went. I didn't know anything about shirts, but I just thought I could, you know, I'm a big believer in, I think a lot of people don't start a business, even though they want to, because they say they can't think of the idea. You know, we can't all think of a Google or a Facebook, unfortunately. You know, I thought of shirts. Shirts is not an original or a clever idea. It's just starting a business. And it's just getting on and doing it. And I, I, from the very beginning, I wanted to do better quality, better value, better service than anybody else. And I just thought, if I do those three things, I'll have a great business. You know, very simple. And I think it applies to whatever you, whatever you, you know, if you do any, if you make chairs or pens or, or, or pads of paper, just do better quality service value and, and, and you'll have a great business. And so I set off on my little shirt journey and here I am 32 years later. <laughs> so <laughs> do you think those three things, quality service value, are the things that you would um, advise our young students to think about? Because actually in the business school here, uh, we have students who, who come here to study to be entrepreneurs. Yeah. We have a course called Team yeah. Entrepreneurship where that's what they really want to do. They really, really want to be, yeah. um, you know, run their own businesses. Is that, is that what you would say to them? I think I mean, one, of the, one of the big things you need to do as an entrepreneur is you need to decide how really committed you are. And uh, you need to decide whether... You, I, I, I always think entrepreneurs are split into two camps. You're either a hare or you're a tortoise. And if you're a hare, and we all know hare entrepreneurs, where you, know, you start a business, you have the first thing you do, you have your idea, you go and raise a load of money from some idiot who gives you a load of money, you give away a load of the equity, you make lots of mistakes, it might work, it might not work, maybe it goes bust, or maybe it just does really well, shoots for the stars, and then you sell it to a private equity firm, and off it goes, and you go off and do something else. And it's sort of rush up, rush down, rushing all over the place. Or you're a tortoise, like me. You know, I just plod along. Every year, I just think, you know, I want to do something a little bit better this year than I did last year. And it's, I think, as Warren Buffett said, you know, the eighth wonder of the world is compound growth. And I think if you stick at something for long enough, you know, I, People say to me, gosh, you must be very able, capable, you know, clever, because you built this big business. But all I've done is I've done it for 32 years, and I've relied on compound growth, and made sure, and just thought, you know, I never went to business school, I've never had any theory, I just sort of, you apply practice. I've made lots of mistakes, and I've probably done it slower than I could have done otherwise. 
but you just, um, you know, each year you get better and better and, and you grow. And, and you have to be committed to that though, because not everybody, you know, if you say to somebody now, you know, do you want to do this for 32 years? They say, no way. You know, a lot of them, they think they want to be an entrepreneur because they want to make a load of money this year, next year. You know, it's not about making a load of money. If you, if you start with that view, you're going to come unstuck. But if you stick at it properly, then, then you know, all good things come with time. Thank you very much. <laughs>